the 2009 International Council of Air Shows annual convention in Las Vegas, Nevada. We had the opportunity to take a few moments, spend a little bit of time with some of the air show professionals that come here each year and ask them a series of questions that gauge the pulse of the industry as well as a feeling about what it takes to be an air show professional in today's environment. Question one. If you had to quantify the top three skills needed by today's airshow professional, what might they be? Uh, the first one you got to have is heart. Can't do the business without heart. Uh, you've got to have passion for what we do, and you've got to have a personality to make it work. To be a good airshow pilot, everybody thinks number one, you got to be a good pilot. That's probably one of the top three. But to make it in this business, you know, you've got to be able to communicate. You got to be able to represent air shows, represent sponsors, so that's extremely important. And I think you have to be the right kind of personality who can focus. You got to be able to pay attention to what you're doing. I think it's a combination of those things. I think the flying part's a given. That's the minimum barrier to get in. I think the marketing and business part are the two things that um, are, are, the, are the critical skills over and above the ability to fly, because again, that's the minimum, the minimum level of entry to get in the door. You have to be able to get by without much sleep. <laughs> uh, it seems like uh, you know there's just more work in this business than anybody ever dreamed when they got into it. And uh, so you have to be able to just put in long hours and I guess the second one would be you just have to love it. If you don't love it, you won't be able to put in the hours. And uh, the third is just a commitment to professionalism and uh, you know, trying to make sure that the uh, industry and the act uh, uh, does well. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. Not necessarily in this order, but uh, to be successful, you got to have a great uh, attention to, uh, you got to be very in touch with what your airplane's capable of doing and what you're capable of doing and not exceed those limitations. From a marketing standpoint, you got to have a gimmick. You've got to have something unique, whether it's a unique airplane or a unique spin on an existing act, you've got to separate yourself from the competition. I would say from a showmanship standpoint, you have to uh, build a sequence and plan your everything from the paint scheme of your airplane to the outfits you wear to uh, the way you interact with the crowd. You have to keep them entertained at all times. You've got to be good with the public. I mean, you really, really do, because that's what we're trying to project, you know, is, is the image of uh, aviation. And then obviously you've got to be able to fly the airplane. You know, that's very important. And also you're going to have to have some kind of a business sense. I think it's a given you need to be, you need to have stick actuating capability to know how to fly the airplane. But I think as important as that is a personality, something that the public can connect to, the public can see. And then you need to have business sense in order to be able to sustain yourself. Well, first you got to have the passion to perform and, in, and uh, the passion to want to inspire because that's really what, uh, what we do out there for the youth that come out to the air shows. But really to last and to uh, make a living at this, you've got to have a good business sense and you've got to have a good marketing sense. So I treat this as a business first so I can follow my passion later. And uh, really, in today's environment, it's, it's business. And uh, you've got to realize that each sponsor is different. And every program, therefore, most likely is going to be different. I think you need personal skills with people, because the whole point of it is to engage people and bring them into the environment. I think you need to have very good people skills. If not very good, you need to be comfortable talking to and being around a lot of other people and introducing yourself to new people. As far as performance-wise, you need to be uh, obviously competent with your aircraft. More than competent, you need to be willing to practice. For safety's sake, you have to be willing to train yourself to say, it's not working today, let's, let's go do something else. Or not do something else, but let's, let's just knock this maneuver off and carry on somewhere. And I think you need to be willing to fly away from the ground. A lot of people recover maneuvers directly to the ground. That's an ego thing, that's a personal thing. Geez, look at me, I just recovered to the ground. I think you need to be able to recover away from the ground and then if you need to, if you want to be able to fly back to the ground. And I think a lot of people forget that there's a crowd line that people in behind can't see through. 
and higher is better on many levels. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Well, one, of course, be a, a pretty good pilot, and that would be one of your key things there. Uh, be creative and uh, probably be different. You've got to have a passion for this industry. If you don't absolutely love this more than anything, except you know, considering your wife and your church and your family, um, you won't put into it what's required to be successful in it. A very, very understanding wife and family that allows you to sacrifice the, the commitments to it and uh, a willingness to keep pushing. If you ever come home, Dan and I have talked about it before, if we ever come back from a flight and say, well, that was perfect, it's time to quit. One, obviously you need to be good at flying the airplane and safe and proficient at flying the airplane. Two, a good business person, uh, because after all it is a business you're running and trying to make succeed. And three, you gotta be good with people, which is almost most, most important, dealing with the producers, more importantly, dealing with the fans and just dealing with everyone in general. Well, I think the number one skill you need as an air show professional is, is passion. And, and what I mean by that is it has to be your fuel because it is such a hard job. It's such a commitment to excellence to do it correctly that if you don't have that, you're not going to make it and you're not going to be successful. I think the second very important skill is humility. By humility means that you got to always remember why you're doing this and that's the agenda, and if you're doing it to share the magic of flight, if you're doing it to inspire and thrill and educate, then you're doing it for the right reasons. If you're doing it because you think you're a pretty cool dude, you're probably gonna die. I mean, this is I've been in this business a long time, and I'm starting to get it, but the incredible joy that you see on the faces of the audience is when you're taxiing back, to me it is just such a humbling experience to be able to have that opportunity. It really does humble me. And I think the next skill is commitment. And the commitment is something that, uh, that's how you become great at anything. And you have to make an unconditional commitment to excellence. So one, two, three, passion, humility, and commitment.